If you want to know how to set up triple monitors in American Truck Simulator, you're going to want to pay attention because this one is a little bit tricky. I'm going to show you how to use NVIDIA Surround because you're going to need that to do this. I'm going to show you how to measure your monitors, calculate your correct field of view and do all the correct measurements and things, and more importantly, show you how to input that data straight into American Truck Simulator. And it's a little bit busy, so hang in there. Let's get into it. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the Setup Surround window, and at this point, you must note the order of your screens. Here, they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right, they are numbered 2, 3, and 1. Now click Enable Surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point, drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before, 2, 3, and 1. Now click Apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Corrected Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy, and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width and height. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. Essential calculations for American Truck Simulator. So before we do anything within the game itself, we're going to need to use this calculator to input some values to get some other values. Now, I can't take any credit to this. This is from a Reddit user called A1337Cookie, who has obviously put a lot of time and effort into this, doing the mathematical calculations behind the scenes in a spreadsheet. However, I'm going to take you through it. Massive thank you once again, and this is going to enable us to hit our triple screen Nirvana within the game itself. 
As you can see here, we've got a box to enter both monofill angle degrees, screen width, screen height, left bezel width, right bezel width, and perpendicular eye distance. Now it is important to use the same units throughout, otherwise it won't calculate correctly. So if you're using millimeters, use millimeters throughout. If it's centimeters, centimeters throughout. Or if it's inches, inches throughout. As you can see here, we've used centimeters. So we'll just run through this quickly. My monitor angle, as we calculated earlier, is 60 degrees. That's for the left and right monitor. The screen width is 72.7 for both the center, left and right. Screen height is 43 centimeters for all of them. And the bezel width on the blue boxes, that's where you want to enter it, is 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Obviously, this will change depending on what you calculated for your setup and your monitors. My perpendicular eye distance is 62 centimeters. Once you put all of those in, you're going to be let delivered these orange figures below, giving you heading offset, horizontal FOV override, vertical FOV override, frustrum subrect X, frustrum subrect Y, frustrum subrect width, and frustrum subrect height. Gotta be careful how you say that. Inputting the data into American Truck Simulator. So unfortunately, American Truck Simulator doesn't allow you to input these figures we've just calculated directly into the game. We're going to need to do some work behind the scenes. You need to find your file for American Truck Simulator, and this is located within your documents file of your PC. So what you want to do is double click there and locate your file American Truck Simulator. Now within here, you'll notice there is a file called Multimonitor Config. Now this won't appear by default, so we need to make this appear. What we do is we enter our config file, we right click this and we open this with notepad. Now what you'll notice is there a setting here called multi-mon mode. Now this is at its final setting number two. In order to get the multi-monitor config file to appear, you need to set this to four, boot up the game, exit the game, and then come back here. And then what I recommend doing is resetting this back to two, because that will need to be the final setting. And then as you'll notice here, we then have a new file called multi-monitor config. Here, we want to basically right click and open this with notepad again. Now you'll notice we'll be met for basically data for both the center monitor, the left monitor, and if we scroll down, the right monitor. Now, if we bring up our calculations that we've created before, you'll notice that there'll be inputs for both heading offset, horizontal FOV override, vertical FOV override, frustrum, subrect, subrect X, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I recommend doing is working through each monitor one by one and working through each figure sequentially from left to right. As you can see here, for center monitor, we've inputted the heading offset. We've inputted the horizontal FOV override, 60.765367. I won't go through them all because you can do that yourself, but ultimately follow these sequentially and you shouldn't miss anything out. As you can see, we've done this for the left monitor and we can see all the figures entered correctly. And we've done this for the right monitor also and entered those figures correctly. Once you've done that, you want to head to file and you want to save this. You can close this down. If you haven't already, head into the configuration file and set the multi-mon mode back to two, otherwise it doesn't display correctly. Close this down and then you are ready to boot up American Truck Simulator. How to remove the steering wheel. As with all my triple screen setup videos, I believe in removing the steering wheel because I feel that adds the immersion and you can do that in American Truck Simulator. First of all, you wanna to head to your documents folder and then open again your American Truck Simulator folder. From here, you want to open Steam Profiles. Open up the file and then you want to open up Config Local with Notepad. From here, you can simply scroll down and then you can see the setting steering wheel. Now you'll notice that this is set to zero. You, this will be initially set for one for you, which means it's displaying. Set this to zero, save it, and then the steering wheel will be no more. Then you can head straight back into the simulator. How to set the resolution. Once we've booted up American Truck Simulator, we need to make sure that our resolution is set correctly for our triple monitors to work. From the main menu, you want to head to options. Within this menu, you need to check that your resolution is set to your bezel corrected resolution. As you can see here, it's set to 7768 by 1440. Personal preference for me, I feel this game runs better outside of full screen mode, but that will of course be down to your personal preference. Once you're done, click apply, simply exit, and then head into the simulator. How to adjust the seating position. Once we've booted up American Truck Simulator, there is one more thing we can do to optimize our field of view within the cockpit. From here, you want to press F4. This will bring up your vehicle adjustments menu. From here, you can adjust your lights, adjust your mirrors, but more importantly, adjust your seat. 
Now from here, we can adjust the rotation of our view, our lateral position within the cockpit, our seating position, front or back, up or down, and also our pitch. We've removed the steering wheel, so you can adjust the position of that if you wish, and don't pay too much attention for the calculated field of view here, which is at 60 degrees. We've already changed this in our configuration file, so as you can see, this makes no difference whatsoever. And that is it. And here we have it, the final result and a wonderful view of the road. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to cover any other triple screen setup videos. If you found value in this, please consider hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, and I'll leave a link here to my triple screen setup playlist video if you want to explore my other videos. As always, look after yourselves and keep on trucking.